Hello and welcome back to another 1001 Beers. You must try before you die. I'm here in lockdown. I'm still at my webcam actually, I'm at my computer. I thought I'd do a second beer review this way because I've got a bit of time uh, and I want another beer. So why not? So this time I got a different one. This one's from America, but it's a Belgian style of ale from America. I picked this up in a shop in America. I've had it sitting in my stash now of uh, over a year, but it's a good one. It's, it's, uh, it's a good percentage. It is... 9.7 percent so it's one that survives quite well it's not going to suffer from being aged um first brew 2003 9.7 and it is three philosophers by omegang i've had one of their beers before uh, that i've reviewed um, and that was lovely so i'm really looking forward to this one and i quite like uh american uh, versions of belgian beers so let's let's try this out before i do that i'll talk about the, the bottle in a minute but it does say Pour slowly so as not to disturb the yeast sediment, but with enough vigour to create a luxurious head and release the rich bouquet. I like that. It's so delightfully poncy. So let's uh, let's go for that. Hopefully not going to explode. No, good, because I think my beer towel is in the washing machine now. Right, so make sure I get enough vigour into this. Good amount of vigour. Yeah, glug that out, but I will make sure I leave a bit of sediment at the bottom. There we go. Leave that. There we go. Nice. So, do the tasting notes, then we'll talk about the bottle. Uh, pours a deep wine-like ruby with a nose of roasted malt, dark fruits, vanilla, sweet and sour cherries, coffee currants, brandied raisins and chocolate. Blimey. Exceedingly smooth on the palate, never cloying. Good. <laughs> hate cloying finishes warm with an assertive but comfortable alcohol blast okay this sounds delicious on paper let's have a look at the bottle now the bottle is i think is it's beautiful i think it's a really nice really it looks like a classy bit of beer i like all the diamonds it kind of gives it kind of a deck of cards a classical deck of cards kind of a kind of appeal so it's from Cooper Ta- cooperstown in new york state um they visit us from daily tours and tasting. Okay, well, I will if I ever go over there. Um, Brewery on the gang. This one is a 2017 edition, so it's been around for a while. Uh, 98% quadruple ale, 2% ale with cherries added. Now, there's a bit about that, about what that's all about. Um, nothing else to really say. Oh, there is on the back. Where heaven met earth and stayed a while. This is great. Love this. Once this beer was a dream, not quite finished, like a symphony missing a line, a quadruple for nights of deep thinking, and we thought it was perfectly fine. But we wanted much more, so we pondered a while. We brewed on, but our minds would not cease. Then one fellow appeared, by chance, cherry beer, and Eureka, a dark masterpiece. With three philosophers, we unite the caramel and chocolate notes of our multi-quadruple ale with a serendipitous cherry creek. For complexities, invite your deepest consideration. Well, that's lovely. I like that little bit of prose on the back. That's good. So, here is the beer uh, in my Love of Bonds glass. Looking good. Looking kind of dark reddish. Slight head on there. Let's go for the nose. I can always already smell it a bit. Whoa, I mean, that smells really fruity, like really, really, really fruity. Uh, kind of vine fruits, malt, um, uh, almost like molasses. Oh, I need to try this. Cheers. Oh, that's delicious. That is lovely. You're right, not cloying at all. Not sweet. It's got enough sweetness to hold it up, but it's got a really good multi backbone that just sits underneath kind of layer of fruit. Um, Very smooth, they said. Um, Yeah, really nice. Very um, almost figgy. Figs, cherries... A real combination of those things. Um, almost like a slight amount of coffee on the nose. Uh, not nose, on the taste. Um, 
yeah, there's a lot of them put that down for a minute. There are things to say. So, so apparently, this was brewed for a create a great beer contest. Um, oh, what is this say? Oh, I see. So, so a, a home brewer in from Oregon sat down and pondered the question of what makes a great beer, and he wrote about it, and it says what he wrote about, and that this led won the con that his essay won the contest and led the creation of this beer. Uh, it's a strong ale, Belgian style quadruple. Um, it's brewed without the addition of spices. It said it is flavoured with a small amount of creek, cherry flavoured lambic from Belgium. Uh, the, the brewery will not disclose who, disclose who makes the creek, but he does say that it's an authentic, commercially available lambic. Uh, the brand is a little consequence because the flavoured cherry is just one of a multitude of players in this masterpiece. Correct. I'm getting, I am getting that kind of fruity cherryness, and that is, I can understand that now. I've read that. I am getting that creek that's coming through, but it's just a layer. It's just part of the flavour profile. Um, Largely, it says it's used very dark caramel malt and the brewery's house yeast. Um, this is great. It's a really nice beer. Uh, and I'm now about to go in and chair a camera meeting. So I'll sip this throughout, sup this, or sip or sup throughout this, uh, th this beer throughout that meeting. I'll very much enjoy it. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you for a beer review very, very soon.